Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to the show. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Eric and I'm glad you could join us for this truly exciting episode because today we're gonna to be making a radical sausage, the smoked grilled pineapple sausage. And I wanna thank Into Swamp for the recipe and the inspiration behind this smoked grilled pineapple sausage. Into Swamp is a member of an online forum and that brought to mind something that I'd like to address here on Celebrate Sausage. If you're into sausage making or if you're into cured meats of any kind, I highly suggest you check out some of these forums, become a member because they're normally free to join and the amount of information on there is absolutely priceless. And in addition to the plethora of information on these forums, there are active members that are willing to share their personal experience with you so that you don't make the same mistakes. I personally belong to two forums, Smoking Meat Forums and Vedline Domove. I'm gonna put a link to both of those forums in the description box below. Check them out, join, it's absolutely free. And I'm only mentioning two, there are a lot of great forums out there. So find one that is active, that's got a good online community, ask them your questions, and I'm sure you're gonna be able to get the answers that you're looking for. And that brings us back around to today's sausage. This smoked grilled pineapple recipe I found on one of these forums. I got to talking to the author, which is Into Swamp, and the next thing you know, we're featuring it here on Celebrate Sausage. So I wouldn't personally categorize this as a sausage for beginners, because there's a couple of hurdles that need to be overcome, but it's actually not that technically challenging. So work with me through the steps. At the end of this, we're gonna give it a taste and see how it tastes. Let's make the smoked grilled pineapple sausage. All right, we're gonna take this recipe nice and easy because although this is a pretty intense sausage to make, when made correctly, it is really tasty. For the meat, we're gonna be using Boston butt, AKA pork shoulder, and we're gonna be adding a little back fat to it. And I'm just gonna cut this into strips small enough to fit into my grinder head. Our meat is pretty cold now, but I'm gonna to toss it into the freezer so I can get it partially frozen before we grind. We want our meat to be in the low 30s. 32 to 34 degrees Fahrenheit is perfect. Our meat has now been properly chilled. We're gonna be grinding this on our Italian-made number 22 grinder from the sausage maker using a number six plate. I'm a big fan of the number six grind. You could go coarse, you could go fine if you'd like. I think number six is kind of a nice middle of the road grind for sausages. So we're gonna do that, grind everything together and then pop it back in the freezer. And now let's look at the rest of our ingredients and this is where things get intense. Our first ingredient is Instacure number one. Next, we're gonna add kosher salt and then we're gonna add a very interesting ingredient, MSG. This monosodium glutamate is gonna bring a lot of umami to this sausage. We've got a little white pepper. We're gonna come back with some brown sugar. So I'm using dark brown sugar. In this recipe, you could use light brown sugar if you'd like. Let's not forget about the oregano, the cardamom, the clove, the paprika, garlic powder, and some coriander. But we're not done yet because now we have some dark soy sauce, maple syrup, we have some habanero peppers. That's gonna bring a lovely tropical heat to this sausage. We're also gonna be adding one egg white, which is gonna do a couple things. It's gonna help with the pH, but it's also gonna act as a binder. We're gonna grate some fresh ginger into the sausage. Can you feel that? I mean, this is like a Hawaiian party in your mouth. This is gonna be pretty incredible. Once we get that in there, we're gonna go ahead and mix that up. And that's, for the most part, our flavor profile. This is going to be a tangy sausage and you're gonna see why we're adding encapsulated citric acid, but this is gonna be one of our ingredients. It's gonna help bring a nice tangy flavor to this sausage. And then of course, the star of the show, the pineapple. So let me show you how to prepare the pineapple. First, remove the top and just a little tip. If you take that top and stick it into some nice mulchy soil, it will grow a brand new pineapple in a year two. <laughs> okay, let me tell you the problem with pineapple. Pineapple naturally has an enzyme called bromelain, which is a meat tenderizer. That means it will naturally break down certain proteins in your meat. And that's not what we're looking for because that'll ruin the texture of our sausage. So we're going to have to denature or deactivate this particular enzyme and we can do it by cooking it. And that's what we're going to do right here. On a cast iron skillet, we're going to be denaturing the bromelain enzyme. We're also going to be adding a lot of flavor to our pineapple, but we want to cook it to above 185 degrees for about five minutes and that's gonna render that enzyme useless, making it safe for us to use in our sausage. If you don't wanna go through this step, you can very easily use canned pineapples. 
because in canned pineapples, that enzyme has already been denatured. All right, so we're going to remove the core and then just chop this up. And there is the pineapple that we're going to use for this recipe. Now we need the pineapple juice. You can use pineapple juice from the store if you want to make this sausage. But I thought, you know what? I've already got pineapple. It's got that elevated grilled flavor. And I happen to have a juicer attachment for my sausage maker grinder. So let's make some fresh pineapple juice. And there it is, our freshly grilled pineapple juice. Smells amazing, tastes amazing, but we now have another problem. Acidity. When you add something that's too acidic, like vinegar, to your sausage meat, it affects the bind. And as we test the pH of this pineapple juice, it's 3.74, which is way too acidic. So in order for this liquid to work in our sausage and us to get all that pineapple juice flavor, we need to raise the pH. We need to end up somewhere around you know, I don't know, 5.6 to 5.9, somewhere in that range. And the easiest way to do that is to add baking soda. After it was all said and done, I think I ended up adding something like three quarters of a teaspoon to one cup of pineapple juice and notice that my pH is now 5.85, which is absolutely perfect for this recipe. So we're now gonna add that juice to our spice mix. And if you're still with me, we are done with the hard stuff. Now we just gotta mix everything together. I've got my chilled meat. It just came out of the freezer and we're now going to add all of our spice mix. Now, one thing that I did off camera was I added about two tablespoons of coconut rum to that spice mix just to give it a little extra kick, a little extra coconut. And uh, now we're mixing. All we're going to do here is mix this until our meat is nice and sticky. I want that meat mixture to stick to my hand when I turn my hand upside down, just like so. At this point, I know my meat mixture is ready. Now we're gonna add our pineapple. And we're just gonna mix this for another 15 or 20 seconds, just well enough to incorporate that pineapple. And then finally, the very last ingredient, we're gonna bring you all the way back to that encapsulated citric acid. This ingredient has to be added at the very end of the process. If you add it too soon to the process, the encapsulation of the citric acid could break and that will affect the texture of your sausage. So if you're using ECA or encapsulated citric acid, it's the last ingredient that you add. You mix it once it's incorporated, you stuff it and then you cook it. It all has to happen the same day. This isn't something that you're gonna let refrigerate overnight. Stick around because in a later video, I'm gonna cover encapsulated citric acid and go over everything you need to know about it. But for now, I am gonna share with you something that I generally do off camera. And it's something you should do as well, and it's to taste your sausage before it goes into its casing. Now, this is going to give you the opportunity to adjust the spices. It's also going to give you a little sneak peek in how your sausage is going to turn out. So we gave that a little cook with encapsulated citric acid. You want to cook it to at least 150 degrees. Let's give it a slice. Here we go. I feel like there should be a drum roll or something. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. Super juicy. Lots of pineapple. Habanero pepper speckled throughout texture looks spot on. I'm going to give it a taste now, but I am going to reserve my thoughts till the end of this video when I can have a proper bite on camera. So let's go ahead and put this into our sausage stuffer. I just want to make sure I pound it down to where there's no, you know, huge air pockets. And to get our sausage stuffer ready, we're going to lubricate that horn with just a little bit of water. That's all we need. Enough to create a little bit of space between the sausage casing and that horn. And we're using regular hog casings that we got from the sausage maker. Remember the little trick? We're going to move this back and forth on the horn. If it slides freely, that means you have enough water on the horn and your horn is the right size. If it sticks or doesn't slide at all, you may want to consider reducing the size of your horn by one size to avoid casing blowouts. Let's get this pineapple sausage into a casing, linked, pricked, and then into a smoker. The first thing we're gonna do once we place it into our smoker is we're gonna let it dry out for about an hour. So I'm gonna set my smoker to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna leave the door open a little bit and this is gonna help that sausage dry out. After an hour, we're gonna start to run through a schedule. Using a digital smoker from Smoking It, 
allows that schedule to happen automatically. So if you don't have a smoker like this, just make sure you cook this nice and slow. We don't want to cook it too fast so the fat doesn't render out. Our target goal at the end of this cook is an internal temperature of 150 degrees, and that's gonna activate that encapsulated citric acid, bringing us a nice tangy element, which is what we're looking for in this sausage. The description box below has a link to this recipe, and it's got all the exact times and temperatures that I'm gonna be using to cook this sausage. After the sausage has dried for an hour, now that's at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm gonna increase the temperature to 125, and personally, I like to start applying smoke at those low temperatures. So at 125, we're gonna crank up our cold smoke generator, also by smoking it, and then we're just gonna to start to apply smoke. And by adjusting how much air flows through that cold smoke generator, I can regulate whether I want more or less smoke. So I typically put it on about a medium, and then I start pumping in some smoke for the better part of this cook. Now this is gonna smoke for about three hours, give or take, three or four hours, and then it's just gonna finish cooking. So we're gonna close that off, let it finish its cycle. And as soon as we get to an internal temperature of 150 degrees, this sausage is done. That encapsulated citric acid will have become activated. We'll get that nice tangy quality. And look at that, they just look plump and juicy. So we're just gonna to toss this into some cool water to stop the cooking process. And then I'm gonna let it bloom for a couple hours at room temperature. And I think it's time to give these a little taste. Okay, I think you know what time it is. It is time to taste the smoked grilled pineapple sausage. And this has got to be one of the wildest sausages that we've made this year. Now, it's not the most daring. In three episodes, you will see the most daring sausage we've ever made, both season one and season two combined. But the smoked grilled pineapple sausage is definitely up there and I love it. I love the idea of incorporating ingredients that are hard to incorporate, overcoming the problem and then creating an awesome sausage. And so far, it looks great. Casing's got great color. It's bound well with the meat. It looks like we have a nice, smooth, juicy bite. Pineapple chunks throughout the whole thing. I got habanero speckled throughout. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right. Wow, this smells incredible. It smells almost like a slightly caramelized pineapple. You're definitely getting a lot of pineapple from uh, at least the smell. Let's see what the bite looks like. Here we go, smoked grilled pineapple sausage. Mm. Wow. Huh. That is surprisingly good. I'm not a huge fan of sweet sausages. And this, although it's on the sweeter side, is absolutely delicious. Nice snap from the casing. The pineapple is very present in the bites. It's spicy, but not overwhelming. The smoke is subtle, and I like that. And it's got this very nice acidity to it, this tanginess that came from the encapsulated citric acid. I'm going in for round number two. Mm. Hmm. Juicy. Huh. I gotta say, I am absolutely impressed. This is a delicious sausage. One I wouldn't normally go with, but I'll tell you what, this to me embodies like those Hawaiian flavors, those island flavors, those tropical elements into a porky, yummy, juicy, flavorful bite. Mm. This is an absolute must. If you can, try this sausage. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you found this video entertaining or helpful in any way, a thumbs up would be nice. If you're new to our channel, we'd like to say welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and that notification bell. You'll be notified of each one of our uploads, and we've got a lot of them this month as we're uploading a brand new video every day through the month of October. Thanks a lot for being here. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.